cars are a lifestyle statement these days as much as it is a means of getting about. The Fiat 500 is a remarkable addition in its segment where other cars are just a drab. The Fiat has been making a big fuss about how it has been uplifted or facelifted. Unless you are a keen spotter of the bumpers and lights, you will be hard pushed to notice that there are chrome inserts in the front bumper and the back bumper. The polyelliptical headlights are made of many different parts. The alloy wheels are multi-spoke and the uh, wing mirrors are of the body color as well. The, all these things, they are helping this car get the more vintage, more retro look. The Fiat 500 boasts of the Italian heritage and craftsmanship. Once you step in in the front seat, you will notice that the dash is of the body color, which gives us a more retro, more vintage look with the help of the uh, media player over there and of the knobs uh, on the buttons. The buttons are mimicking the backlights at the front side, which gives it a more uh, classy look as well. But, on, but the plastics, they look classy, but they don't feel as classy as a look. Uh, there's a bit of chrome on the gear jack over here and on the steering as well. And the Fiat 500 logo is also over there, uh, which helps it boast or keep up with that vintage look with that 50s era as well. Um, you have the digital display in the driver's uh, control as well, uh, but there's also a traditional uh, speedometer. Then you have the uh, media player over there where you can connect your phone over Bluetooth, you can make calls. Um, and also on the steering, which is leather, uh, leather crafted, uh, there are some controls which help you connect your phone, which helps you control your audio or your music, etc. So it helps you keep your hands on the wheel while you keep your eyes on the road where they belong. Um, there is plenty of leg room, there is plenty of headroom as well, there is a fixed sunroof. Uh, with, with sun blind which is retractable so sun's up, fun's up in this car uh, you have a bit of the chrome on the door handles as well um, there's not much complexity it's very easy to understand very easy to know where everything is except that when I was trying to uh, pull down my windows I realized that the window controls are over here anyhow so on the back side you have um, cramped up space um, for two adults for a shorter journey, it will be easier, uh, it will be comfortable, but for longer rides, it can become a bit tiring and a bit uncomfortable. There's enough cargo space also on the boot, ba ba back boot. Um, so it's pretty fun. The, the seats are very nice. You cannot adjust them for height, but of course you can adjust them uh, front and back. Um, the steering for my liking is a bit bigger, but then it's a, then it's a vintage car, it's a classic car and it's pretty pretty fun to be in this car so i hope you will also enjoy by, uh, while being in this car this fiat might look like a turtle on the outside but it becomes a rabbit when you put it in the sports mode by the touch of a button and it has 100 horsepower with 131 newton meters of torque it becomes very zippy, very fast, just like a tiny bullet. Um, however, in the sports mode when you're driving it, what I've noticed is that when you are shifting from the second to the third gear or third to the fourth gear, it gives you a bit of a shudder in the car, which is quite funny. I think it's because of the manual base uh, that it has for its shift. What I've noticed is that what, one thing that is missing or that is quite disappointing for, for me is that it doesn't have a cruise control. Uh, especially when you're driving here in the highways, it comes in very handy, so they should have added that. However, it's a joy to drive, it's fun, it's very easy to maneuver throughout the city and the towns. Um, if, even if you're facing traffic or you're in a busy parking lot, I think you will find it very handy. 
and you will feel like you're entitled for the roads and this car has a statement to make. Um, it's a very good car. If it is your first car, you should definitely go for it. Um, however, it can be an addition to your garage as well. And whenever you want, you're in the mood and whenever you are uh, trying to make a statement or an impression, ride in this one. Fiat 500 brings in a lot of style and fashion statement, but of course that style and fashion statement comes at a cost. Uh, however, in the same segment, you have the Volkswagen and you have the Hyundai, which are affordable all-round cars. But of course, then they are less fashionable. They don't have a style statement. Uh, but if making a statement, if style, if fashion is your thing, you should definitely go for this Fiat 500 because it is charming on the inside and equally charming on the outside.